Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of satellite communication and microwave television. So today's in today's topic, we are going to discuss about the block diagram of earth station. Okay. So the term earth station indicates a place with a huge antenna, which is used to communicate with the satellites for several communication purpose. So we have already discussed about what are these satellites. Uh, we have also seen the block diagram of a satellite communication. Okay. So whenever satellites try to communicate with the earth, we need a huge antennas located at a particular location. So using that particular antenna, we are going to communicate with the uh, particular or any one of the uh, satellite or multiple satellites. Okay. So that particular point where a huge antenna is located on the earth for the communicating with the satellites can be considered as earth station. Okay. Now, in order to um, explain the block diagram, we have uh, two block diagrams over here. One is the transmission section as well as the receiving section. Okay. So first let's see what is an uh, transmission section. This whole unit will be in the earth station itself. Okay. So here starting with the channels. Okay. These channels will carry the data and this data is connected to an encoder or MUX, okay, or a multiplexer, okay. This encoder and multiplexer is connected to a modulator and modulator is connected to an up converter, whereas up convert is again sub connected to a local oscillator, okay. So this oscillator is used for generating the frequencies which are required uh, at the time of the process and this up converter, okay, is again connected to a high power amplifier, which amplifies the incoming weak signal or whenever in order to eliminate the noise. And this particular amplified signal will be given to an antenna, a transmitting antenna. Okay. So from here, the antenna transmits the signal to the satellite, required satellite or multiple satellites. Okay. Now let's see the receiver section. When, so this is the receiver section. So whenever an earth station tries to receive the signal from the satellite. This is the setup we require. So again, a receiver antenna is connected to a low noise amplifier. Okay. As the signal is coming from the far away distance from satellite. Okay. We need to amplify the signal, which is incoming or taken through a receiver antenna. And that is again down converted. And again here at the down con converter, we also have a local oscillator again. Okay. Now this uh, converted signal need to be again demodulated. That means we need to separate the original data from the signal. Okay. Again, this particular signal will be demuxed or decoded and again sent to the channels. These channels carries that particular data to multiple various applications or various points. So if you see the notes over here. Okay. So before getting into the notes, these are the antennas which you see. Okay at the earth stations, which are able to communicate with the several satellites. Okay. So if you see the encoder, an encoder is an electronic device. Give me a second. So encoder is an electronic device. Okay. Used to convert an analog signal into digital signal. Okay. We have seen several blocks in the transmitting end as well as the receiver end, right? Okay. These uh, these are the description of uh, those blocks. So first coming to an encoder, an encoder is an electronic device used to convert an analog signal into digital signal. Okay. So this encoder encodes more number of inputs into few outputs. Okay. As it is uh, considered a MUX as well, multiplexer. Okay. This also helps in encoding more number of in inputs into Okay, few outputs and coming to the decoder unit at the receiver end, the decoder is also an electronic device. Okay, electronic device that is used to convert again, digital signal into analog signal. At the transmitting end, we are using an analog signal into a digital signal and at the receiver or the decoder end, we are converting a digital signal into analog signal. Okay, again, it allows the single input to generate many outputs as we are using DMUX at the decoder end. Okay. We can also uh, generate sing single input through uh, to multiple outputs. Okay. Now,
let's see a modulator okay so modulator modulator or demodulator let's see one by one modulator combines microwave signal as well as this information or the data which we want to send now a microwave signal what we are using here with high frequencies are used to transmit okay so data between these antennas or earth station and the satellites right so in order to send our information or data we need to combine our data or information with some signal that signal we are considering here is as a microwave signal now we are modulating the signal means we are combining our data or information with the microwave signal and the combination of this which we are calling it as modulated signal are transmitted or received using this earth station as well as satellite and coming to demodulation so here demodulation means our microwave signal which helps in transmission of signal wirelessly as well as the information or the data which we try to communicate or uh, move from one point to another we are getting them separated so microwave signal as well as information or the data is getting separated at the demodulator end this is how a demodulator works okay and coming to the up converter okay so this up converter converts low frequency into high frequency as well as coming to the down converter this down converter converts high frequency into low frequency and coming to an antenna we already know antenna is mainly used for transmission and receiving of a signals which we are trying to communicate okay and coming to an local oscillator so this is a local oscillator which is fixed in the transmission and the reception unit this local oscillator is an electronic oscillator okay we can also call it as a mixer so here if you see here there is a local oscillator at the up converted as well as down converter okay this main local oscillator purpose is it will be used with a mixer to change the frequency of signal if at all there is a need of change in the frequency of a signal okay we need to use a local oscillator such that these oscillator generate a required frequencies okay so here we have already seen right up converter as well as down converter the main purpose of up converter as well as down converter is it converts low frequency signal to an high frequency signal in order to communicate with the satellites as well as again whenever the signal is received from the satellite the high frequency signal needs to be again converted into low frequency okay such that the earth station can take the required inputs okay so that's why we are adding or mixing up an local oscillator okay which is an electronic oscillator which keeps on generating signals according to the required uh, requirement or the according to the purpose what we use okay so these are the main blocks of our whole earth station block diagram so you have in an earth station you have two block diagram one is transmitting and one is receiving it okay so and encoder decoder modulator demodulator up converter down converter antenna local oscillator all these blocks are electronic devices which plays an important role in the part of an a block diagram